This is the first poem that we decided to include in the anthology when we were first asked to put this collection together. And it is a family favorite. <laughs> it was read to you when you were a little girl. You Indeed, read it, it to was. me when I was a little girl. I read it to my children. And uh, it is The King's Breakfast by A. A. Milne. The king asked the queen, and the queen asked the dairymaid. Could we have some butter for the royal slice of bread? The queen asked the dairymaid, and the dairymaid said, Certainly. I'll go and tell the cow now before she goes to bed. The dairymaid, she curtsied and went and told the Alderney. Don't forget the butter for the royal slice of bread. The Alderney said sleepily, You'd better tell His Majesty that many people nowadays like marmalade instead. The dairymaid said, Fancy? and went to Her Majesty. She curtsied to the queen and she turned a little red. Excuse me, Your Majesty, for taking of the liberty, but marmalade is tasty if it's very thickly spread. The Queen said, Oh, and went to His Majesty. Talking of the butter for the royal slice of bread, many people think that marmalade is nicer. Would you like to try a little marmalade instead? The King said, Bother. And then he said, Oh, dear me. The king sobbed. Oh, dearie me. And went back to bed. Nobody, he whispered, could call me a fussy man. I only want a little bit of butter for my bread. The queen said, There, there. And went to the dairy maid. The dairy maid said, There, there. And went to the shed. The cow said, There, there. I didn't really mean it. Here's milk for his porringer and butter for his bread. The queen took the butter and brought it to his majesty. The king said, Butter, eh? And bounced out of bed. Nobody. He said as he kissed her tenderly. Nobody. He said as he slid down the banisters. Nobody, my darling, could call me a fussy man. But, but <laughs> I do like a little bit of butter to my bread. Don't we all? <laughs>